Okay, so I have an interesting match today. I've been playing a lot of Hearthstone lately. So I wanted to share the experiences that I've been having on the ladder, in the arena, all the other stuff. So here we are. I'm going to be doing some Hearthstone content. Yeah, I know I always say oh, I'm going to be doing this and doing that, but looks like I got some equipment to where I can do this now. Alright, so let me see what I got here. I have, yes, I have this match that I was playing. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start the video. I had a mistake. I had a mistake in my opening mulligan, which, which kind of... I'm not going to say it kind of set me back. I'm going to say it was more or less, um, eh. it was more or less, I didn't want it in my hand because it gives me health when I draw it. So <laughs> having it start in my open hand, it's only really good for plot twist duplication. But I can't remember, I can't remember if I did that with her in my hand. I don't remember playing her before turn six. I mean, I don't remember playing her after turn six until like, um, I don't even think I played that card at all in this match. You know, it's really just a, a sturdy taunt that gives you health when you draw it. So I always try to have it in my deck. You know, I play, I play Warlock mostly. So, I think it's I think it's a very it's a very important card for the warlock deck. It's essential. It's essential for a war a, a warlock deck, especially questing warlock. You know, I'm I'm relatively new to Hearthstone as a whole. You know, I I played World of Warcraft maybe like what ten years ago. And I, I don't know. I just was running out of things to play. And I said I want to play something new, so I figured I'd try Hearthstone. But one thing, one thing I don't like about Hearthstone Ladder is sometimes people take a long time to make their turns. Sometimes you know you could get disconnected, somebody else could get disconnected, maybe that's my internet, maybe that's their internet, but you know, I've lost a couple matches from being disconnected, and I haven't really won too many from being disconnected, okay, so here we go, we got some stuff on the board, his first play was Doom Sculptor, I didn't even see what he did with it, I was too busy talking, not paying attention to the video, I'm supposed to be narrating the video. Okay, so yeah, that's right, that's right, I got a, mm. wow, and what it gives me is ridiculous, look at this, That's incredible. Pyroblast, Pyroblast, a warlock using Pyroblast, it's unheard of, not really, I'm sure somebody's done it before, I'm sure someone's done it before. Okay, so I wanted to get some lackeys and I wanted to see what mage spell I was going to get. I was hoping that I had the youthful brewmaster so I could, you know, throw the spell book out again, you know, get another mage card. That would have been nice, but nah, that's not how it happened. So he clears my board, but I have a play for you guys. I have a play. That's why. That's why I was glad that I did the lackey play when I did it, because now I had a chance to use the traveling healer, <laughs> get my health back, and then take out the doom sculptor. Spell! Give me that rush, and I got the shield so I can stay on the board. I swear, like, if you don't, if you don't use this card in your warlock deck, then you must have some really good healing mechanics or you must be mid-range where you can... I think mid-range is when you take them out before like turn 7. Like when... when There's there's a lot of decks that can do that. 
I'm not really familiar with the terminology to what they're called or whatever. I'm, like I said, I'm relatively new. I've only been playing for a couple months. But I love the strategy, the combinations you can do. Like, I'm not really a fan of the randomizers. I usually don't have good luck with those. But, see right here, right here, I'm going to tell you why I did that. Because I was afraid to lose that, I was afraid to lose that monster. That minion, rather. I'm just so used to playing Yu-Gi-Oh. I was so afraid of losing the Traveling Healer. I, I, I need that card. So I was like, okay, fine, cool. Cool. And it turns out to be the right play because... <laughs> I need that health, baby. Go ahead, throw them out there. Give me the health. Whoa. Beautiful. Beautiful. Mm. Mm. Okay, so what is this? Turn. You don't even want to give me a full screen for this. Turn what? I can't even see what turn it is from here. I got to blow this up. Now I can see. Now I'm gonna stop paying attention to myself in the background. Yeah, here we are, turn six. Now, now the game begins. Now the game begins. So I'm gonna go ahead and life tap. Get me another card. Plot twist. Duplicate everything in my hand. And trade the traveling healer. And keep the board. That I believe was the best play for that turn. Okay, Supreme Archaeology is just about finished. Now, I used to run two Augmented Elix in this deck, but because it just, it never got to my hand at the right time, and because, like, I wanted to have one for, like, for bait, you know, to get them to use a good card or, you know, a good minion to trade with it or whatever, but... I learned you really only need one in that deck. You really only need one. And all you need to do is duplicate some good cards. So, I recommend you never want to start with that card in your hand. You never want to start with that card in your hand. Because usually when you play that card, you want to plot twist right after. Hopefully there's not a counter spell when you do it. Oh, that was that was beautiful. Life tap Pharaoh. And then a taunt to go with it. Now my lackeys are 4-4. Four, four. Beast mode. Ain't no stopping this. Ain't no stopping this gravy train. Ain't no stopping this gravy train. Now would have been what 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 really would be crazy is if after I get Supreme Archaeology, I life tap and get a zero cost Pyroblast. Because remember, I augment to Elec my basically my opening hand plus some extra cards. And there was a Pyroblast in there. From that good old jaw dealer. He gave me a spell book. A one cost spell book. Then <laughs> it was a wrap. Okay, let's see what he gets with this, um, I forget the name of that movie. I always forget the name of that thing. See you know that though. Oh, excuse me. Okay, Supreme Archaeology is in effect. Supreme Archaeology is in effect. Yeah. I do have a play. I definitely do have a play with that. Yep, get rid of that. Don't need that. Mm -hmm. and I cannot quite remember what I wanted to go for here. Did I want... Yeah, I remember. I was gonna put this out, but I was afraid it was the secret copy. So I was like, you know what? I could deal with a cartoon on their side. And it turns out that's exactly what the hell it was. I would have been so hurt if I had to deal with a 
that they got for three mana that they played long ago. That was not what I wanted to see. At all. But moving right along. This uh this player, um, Peaky Vari, I think that's what it says. He he didn't rush his turns at all. Like, you know, I don't I try not to. There are times when I get a little antsy because there are people who really literally will let the rope run all the way down every turn. It can get a little frustrating from time to time, but you know, nevertheless you have to end your turns at some point. Unless you're like the one guy who wants to hold the car over the board for infinity. Like I posted a um, I posted a video of somebody doing that on my Instagram not too long ago and the crazy part about it was that should never ever ever be possible in the game of Hearthstone you should not be able to extend your turn to infinity by just holding a car over the board yeah but back to the game there's an ugly Archmage Antonidas on the board I was thinking in my head, I'm like, how can I get rid of this thing? How can I get rid of this thing? Think, 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 think. Because uh, Archmage Antonitis is not good for this deck. And I said, you know what? Do I want to bring Car 2 back? I said, no. I've got a full health. I've got a zero cost Brewmaster. Yeah, I'll take that. Put the Lackey out. Get rid of him. I was thinking, do I want to bring the lackey back? Because I was going to throw out the body wrapper, but I was like, yeah, forget it. Just get Archmage, at Archmage out of there. Get rid of Tony. Get rid of Tony. Don't want to deal with him. Don't want to deal with him. So, here we are. Everybody's got full mana. Everybody's got full mana. Who who doesn't love a full tray of mana? But you look at my hand, you're like, man. Them big minions. All those big minions. And believe it or not, he had another one lying in the, waiting in the wings. Waiting in the wings. I think he has like three or four fireballs. Aha! Okay. See, I did that. I threw him out there and was hoping to get a minion I could trade into Archmage. But I get the luckiest top deck I have ever got in my life for zero mana. Restore my whole field. I got everything I can trade with this Archmage. I can take it out. And I'm like, you know what? I want to maximize damage. I want to maximize damage. I want to maximize damage. He's like, that's incredible. I'm like, yes, you damn right. It's incredible because all I needed was one card two and everything could have been whatever. This is the essence of this deck. Like, it's so effective late game if you can get a plot twist. If you can get a plot twist, you know, and you got a big hand, you need a big hand because... He really wanted to take out my mons. My minions mom. Oh, wow, he doesn't... He just got the Ascendant Scroll. That's interesting. They, they usually get it about like turn six or seven. Now, I'm going to tap again. I'm going to tap again. I should have tapped again. I don't know why I didn't tap first. 
I would have saved more mana. At least I believe I would have. Yep, you're not killing my board, buddy. Let's see, light tech. Not bad at all. He really makes this deck worthwhile. Like, Cartut Defender. I don't know if it's Cartut or Cartoon, but he really makes this deck work. <laughs> I was not worried about that because I was like, you know what? You know what? I think this is a perfect time to throw this shit in your face. <laughs> like, yeah, and then I got that. A zero cost card tut defender. Yes, most definitely. I'm like, I wonder like what he's thinking. Like after getting hit by a pyroblast and then I play a six cost card for free. Interesting. You know, like Supreme Archaeology, man. Like I think it's I think it's underrated, but you need a lot of strong cards to go with it. Of course you need plot twist and you know all that stuff. But I'm sure there's stronger cards you can put than I that I than I have put out here in this this uh this deck, but um I say the cards I have are very valid, very strong indeed, very useful. And I just you know see what happens with this. Okay, armor. You gain four armor. You gain four armor. That's not bad, you know. Not bad at all. But I'll just put that out for defense. Take him out of here. Don't need that card. Definitely don't need that card. And yes, that was a mistake. Let him know that that was a mistake. Yes. Let let them know when they make a mistake. You must always let them know you made a mistake. That was a mistake. <laughs> I love when my opponents make mistakes. It makes me so happy. Okay, so what is the play? Tap? Get a lackey? Ooh. Witchy lackey. Witchy lackey. Get the witchy lackey. Change one of my cartoons. I was so surprised that this, this guy didn't run any counter spells. Like, counter spell, like... I hate counter spell. So much value. What was that? Nine. Nine plus nine. It's eighteen plus three is twenty-one. Twenty-one attack on the board. And my opponent has sixteen plus what? Twenty twenty-two? Twenty-two how? Man, that pyroblast. I tell you, that pyroblast was something else. I'm just, I'm just so, I'm just like, what luck, what luck to get a pyroblast from the spell book. Mm. 10 damage. And because you don't run any minions with your supreme spellcasting decks it really it really hurts when you take big face damage and I, I, I watch um, uh, the Hearthstone player Trump I, I really like to watch his videos because I learn a lot and let me start with um, he, class I identity, think it was the Trump the most Trump important, important to Trump problem or something. Warlock you saying should that not Warlock have much have access, access to first, like first direct, direct damage. damage. But I'm like, man, I need burst direct damage because some of these these decks that people are running now, like you need 
to get past taunts and stuff like man like the Nazoth strategy like because it's like hollows in right now when I'm recording this like the Nazoth thing was just broken like they throw out Kartut after Kartart with Apple Bomb and Sylvana Windrunner whatever the name of that card is and then like I've seen I've seen a rogue I've seen a rogue do that throw out Nazoth and then Togwaku scheme after shadow stepping and talk it, it it and mind you that their deck was empty at the time so they shuffled in like eight copies of Nazoth and I just quit because that's not fun like this hollows in like I, I can't wait for this thing to be done man like I'm sure it's been done plenty of times before but I'm like yo not for me not for me like but yeah like that's like the the key to this deck is building a hand you know having good taunts you know and some low cost minions you know to get early advantage you know because this is this is this is my lackey deck like look at that four damage each time like I was supposed to be narrating but I was just so like I just like to talk man you guys can watch the match you know what I mean look at that look at that so beautiful that's so beautiful when when the deck just clicks and it finishes perfectly like I wanted to thank you so much for watching this installment this first episode of Hearthstone Ladder with me Professor Hawk and aka Red Raven I have other names that I go by but that's not important right now so tune in again if you like what I got here subscribe for more content like this I should be making a lot more Hearthstone videos because I really like Hearthstone thanks for watching oh I almost forgot like subscribe and share don't forget to do that class dismissed Woo! yeah <laughs> it's all baby I ain't playing no games today